All right, guys, that's a wrap on our Colorado hunt. What an unbelievable experience. I have, like I said, wanted to do that plains hunt for a long time. Getting to experience the corn stalk, sneak in was awesome. Even though it didn't go as planned, uh, we still were able to connect on a stud buck. So this morning we packed up and we are headed about nine hours to Utah. Um, my buddy Bart, uh, who is one of the owners of Peak Refuel, has hunted on this place before and it is phenomenal. He killed a really good bull. It was his first bull elk. Um, and the bucks they kill out here are next level. It's really close to our family cabin, uh, which is gonna be cool because they get to go spend some family time right after this. So let's see if we can make it safe and smooth and get in for an evening hunt tonight, guys. Officially in Utah and we are eight minutes out from the meeting point I think Bart said he was getting there right around six o'clock um, and Tony's already there too so we, we don't have a ton of time we probably have a good maybe hour and a half till dark so we're gonna pull in I'm gonna jump out and do like I did on my Oregon hunt earlier this year I'm not gonna unpack anything I'm gonna pull my camo out throw it on real quick get my boots my pack my rifle binos and we are hitting the hike. Uh, like I said, it's about a 30 minute hike to where we can even start trying to look for this dude at. So uh, we're gonna, we're pushing it for sure on time, but we know he's in this area, this big old buck. Uh, he's got a collar and a tag, uh, fishing games tagged him. They, they follow their migration patterns and he's seen this buck in the velvet back in August and hasn't seen him since. Tony, Tony basically lives out here. Um, and so this morning was out just looking around before we got in and found that dude. So he is a tank. I'm hoping we can get eyes on him tonight. You guys can see what he looks like, but um, absolute tank. Fingers crossed. There's no oxygen here. <laughs> Lungs up, baby. We go from zero to hero real quick. You guys can see that up top. Basically straight up, but we go up. That's kind of a false peak, and then we go up a little bit more. And we have a good luck out from there, so. <sighs> Try to open them lungs up. <sighs> oh, it's game time. Let's do this.
All right, guys, so uh, it's about noon. We've checked a couple spots, just glassing. We're gonna back out, go grab a little bit to eat, maybe go shoot the sucker a little bit out to six, seven, maybe 800 yards, um, and then rest for a little bit and then head back out for this evening. I think we're gonna hike back into where that big buck is and just pray those things work back up and over this evening and we can get a shot before it gets too late. But all we can do is hope at this point, we just keep, keep grinding like we're doing and eventually something's gonna happen. Right, Ben? Oh. <laughs> no surprise, it's gonna be loud. All right. Ready to climb a mountain again. <laughs> Freedom fries. See if this dude comes out. Didn't see him this morning. Praying he's just up and over that backside. The wind's been pretty strong all afternoon, but hoping that sucker dies down because I was pushing my bullet all over the place, left and right, out at 750. All right, that's a wrap for evening two. Just about, we probably got five minutes left, but we haven't seen a single deer on this face. We're all scratching our heads. <laughs> Not sure if these bucks are already starting to make their migration out of here. Um, we saw those ones go up and over this morning. It was two bucks, we didn't see the big one, but they definitely move that way. We know we go 35 miles that way in winter, so maybe they're starting to make their way out. We'll see, we're just gonna keep keep on this. I really want to keep on this buck. This buck is huge. Um, at least give it another day or two possibly, but we'll see. Fingers crossed guys. Ready? Line two. Here we go. We're going to hike back up to the top of this mountain. Uh, nothing was out. It was a completely dead day yesterday, so sometimes it happens. We're hoping that these things are kind of back in their normal routine today. Let's see if we can go locate them. Let's go. Well, we got them, but we gotta move complete locations. We gotta pile back off, come around, and he's on his backside, so we're gonna have to make a power move <laughs> quick. <laughs> Ready? Okay, go ahead. Put another one in him. Aim a little low. Oh, he's down. Hit, you hit him high. Okay. That dead man zone. You hit him good there. Hold up. I think he's done. Hold up. Is he behind that bush? No. I think he's done. I think he's done, boys. I think he is too. <laughs> yeah, he's a big old body buck. Big old oh, he big body did. buck. Boys, let's go. Let's man. go. Good job. Oh, oh my God, dude. 
<laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, fellas. Oh. Good stuff, dude. BBD. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Give me some. All them deer were out on the I know. And you're like, holy hell. Hell yeah. How freaking awesome is that? Look at where we just shot from. That's a, I don't know how, that's a big drop. Off. Right there. <laughs> oh my it's God. Like... <laughs> Target buck, we didn't give up on him. No. There he is. I think I he's down right there. That's what I was worried he's about. He's on an edge. I know, I know. I just that's a big. When you shot him, like, I hope he doesn't bell it off. I that. Almost that is a big we drop off. Forest and come off that ridge. <sighs> I don't know. Dude, man. Give me some dude. Oh. We are just freaking on the roll, baby. <laughs> what a stock. We, hey. we hiked all the way to the top of that sucker, and as I soon do. as we got to the top, it's like, hey, I got him. Ran all the way back down, hauled ass. That's what I was worried about. He, was, he stood there the whole time. He yeah. didn't move. Nice. And that was my worry. I'm like, dude, I hope by the time uh, they get here, I he know. doesn't just go right into those ponds. We were right, though, dude. He went up and over. And this he's, spot worked out yeah. perfect right here. That's my favorite part about mule deer hunting is just you never know. looking on Double onyx and like smart. analyzing and seeing the possibilities. Yeah, <laughs> seven, eight year old deer. We know we winters 35 miles away from here. Yeah. We got to call that, we probably got to call that in, huh? Is yeah. that typically what you do? Yeah, and then we'll have them give the band in. Or yeah, whatever. so it's, it's, this buck is collared and tagged. Uh, and it's, I don't know if you guys have ever shot a banded duck. It's kind of the same thing. You call in the numbers on it and they'll give you all the details of where it was banded, obviously him, where it was tagged and collared, uh, their, their migration patterns, uh, age. So it's, it's going to be cool to get our hands on this thing, get all that info and just understand like how old these deer are out here and the crazy migration patterns that these things actually go through year to year just to survive like 35 miles from here and it's not a flat 35 miles like you're going down. over crazy mountain ranges and stuff let's go get our hands on this bad boy thank it. you fellas <laughs> oh give me oh. yeah one more oh. dude we did it teamwork makes the dream work baby up there that's where he was so we just need to get above those cliffs there and then just side hill definitely going across so we just need to go up yeah, to those yeah, pines right there, okay. and then we can just side them right across right to them. Perfect. Any money. There's no oxygen here. <laughs> so close. Is that him right here? Yep, there he is right there. Oh, uh, wow. That, Look at the size of that frame. That might be. Oh, Lord. The biggest body deer, and I knew he was going to oh, yeah. the hell out of us. Yep. Dude, look at this thing. 21. Dude, let me get this pack off. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh, I'm going to fall. Don't fall. Oh, give me some, fellas. Oh. Thank you. Oh. That Big is old. an old deer. Yeah. Big old melon. That's an old deer. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful buck. Dude, this still just is so he crazy to me. wanted to start some other stuff, mm -hmm. too. Getting a little try. You got... Oh, gosh, <laughs> We did it, fellas. That's, That's a freaking stud. Thank you. Heck yeah. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for helping getting this thing out, too. Look at the birds and uh -huh. the collar. Oh, yeah. 